I made a video here a few days ago and I was finding a lot of iron and I think I loaded my boat up three or four times. I found one shell, you know, an artillery shell from the Civil War. It was the Confederate Mullane. I found so much stuff that, you know, I thought I'd come back another day. And, well, today's the day. It wasn't going to come because if you look, you can see that the water is very murky and yucky. We just had a big rainstorm and I hate coming on the river when it's like this. But I figured since I'm shell hunting, I really didn't have to stick my head under water because I got the big magnet. You know, if I get a signal, I can just hit it with the magnet and pull it up nine out of ten times. Now, I just got here maybe ten minutes ago, and I'll show you what I found so far. I have some railroad stuff. You've seen a lot of these things. These are the big plates they put down uh, for the rails, I guess. And I got a piece of rail here. It's been interesting. It's got a big, um, got a big ring on it. So I figure somebody probably made that from an anchor and either lost it here or just pitched it. This is pretty cool, this big wheel here. Uh, I suppose that's probably one of those big wheels that they have on the back of like a train car for the brakes, the old timey stuff, and it's broken. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I'm not gonna keep any of this other stuff, which is just railroad stuff. But, I got a signal that was underneath this and underneath one of these things, and looky here, it's another artillery shell from the Civil War. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a Hotchkiss. Yeah, I can see the flame groove right here, right there's a flame group, and it's got a bunch of rocks on it. And I'll knock the rocks off here after a while so you can get a better look at it. But that is definitely an artillery shell from the American Civil War. It's got a fuse in the end. See right here. I'll clean it up just a little bit so you can see it. it. Should be a brass fuse. Yeah, you can see the brass shining through a little bit right here. So I'm going to dig around more here. All right, I got my second load I'm going to have to dump here by this tree. I'm making a big pile here. I may come back and get it someday, but I may not. I did find another one of these um, links for the railroad. I've been finding a ton of these lately, and I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And I'm going to keep this little pot lid. Kind of interesting. I might be able to make a display out of that of some kind. Well, again, a lot of railroad iron here that I am not going to keep. This is kind of weird. Somebody made a sinker. A sinker. Somebody made an anchor for their boat out of concrete. Now concrete, when you put it in water, is actually pretty light. So this would have been like having a one ounce sinker on the end of your anchor line. Not really, but pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna dump this out. Nothing else of interest uh, this last round, but we'll keep that. Well, I got a big old thunderstorm coming up. Over there on the horizon, I can hear the Thunder are rolling, so we don't have much more time here, unfortunately. Well, I hate to do it, but we have to hustle on out of here. This is going to be a doozy, and it's coming on fast. Um, if I don't get uh, off the water, I'm going to have to get off the water when it hits. I don't know if I'm going to make it, though. Hey, let's hustle. <laughs> oh, we didn't make it. I'm going to tuck it underneath the shore here. And, uh... Wait it out, that's all we can do. He's not out in the open, but we have to cross some open water here soon. Uh, we'll just hang out here, hopefully we won't get fried. Lightning's got pretty bad, so I decided to tuck under a nearby bridge. Take some out of the rain. Maybe out of the lightning too, who knows. Oh. 